The mud here feet deep in some places and crews have been working the last 24 hours to try to keep the roads passable and the people here safe. Yeah. For anyone living in a burn scar area, uh, this is the reality. Colfax County Emergency Manager Thomas V. Hill says flood conditions left some people trapped in their homes. Tina Davis and her husband were home having dinner when they heard a wall of water rushing their way. It was like a loud roar and it just kept getting louder and louder and we were like, what is that? Something we'd never heard before. This was a road. They said they could only watch as water carried their neighbor's truck into a tree. See these rocks, there's hundreds, if not thousands of them everywhere. And emergency officials tell me it took less than an inch of rain to get them tumbling down the mountain. Emergency crews say the landscape is changed for years. More importantly, they tell us the recent wildfires charred the ground and now it doesn't soak up as much water. So predicting where the water will go is much harder. A very light rain can resort in a massive, massive storm flow coming through. Whereas before it would take, you know, upwards of two inches, three inches of rain to where we'd see something like this. Howdy. It certainly was a rare sight for Davis as well. We've had the cabin since 97 and there's never been anything like this. Now some houses impacted more than others like the ones that are on high ground as opposed to the ones that are down in the valley. But as we talked about, the threat will remain for years to come due to the wildfires impacting the area. Reporting here at U Park, I'm Brandon Adams, KOT Action 7 News.